Welcome back to the channel, my name is Dave and this is part two of the uh, Paddington Canal bike ride, uh, generally coming back. Uh, didn't quite make it, uh, about a mile out before I started getting, um, uh, what do they call it, the uh, electric vehicle sweats. <laughs> I was looking down at the, at the battery, how much battery is left and thinking, oh, I'm going to get back. And I'm too fat at the moment to uh, push a bike back. Um, so, this is the journey back. Uh, this will go a bit snappier because there was quite a big bits where I didn't bother talking, thank God. And um, in the end, you get what has proven to be probably one of the best pictures I've taken this year. And I uh, hope you enjoy that. Again, so see you at the end and enjoy. <laughs> We're doing the same. <laughs> Sorry. You got much? What's that? Oh, just taking pictures of some of the graffiti along the wall here. Oh, oh, got it. So did you get a lot? Uh, do you know what? I, I'm testing this out as a sort of an exercise in because I bought, I just recently bought it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just trying to sort of see how far I can go out okay. and come back and take photos on a bike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I, I love the canal. I live near the canal. Okay. But it's not... Unless I'm missing a million shots, <laughs> it's not very photogenic, it's is not it? Super photogenic. Do you know what I mean? Well, actually, some unless days the sun's out. Exactly. Some days it's yeah, yeah. nice if you get good reflections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. That. yeah. Oh, the reflections are still. gorgeous. I've got yeah. some great photos of uh, still, dead still reflections. Exactly. You know? uh, yeah. And you can flip them upside down and maybe people guess which way's up and down. Like, you know? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, exactly. I've got a couple, a couple of bits and pieces, but but the idea, the whole. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously, you're you're going to be a YouTube star. To about ten people. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Fellow photographer. Okay. All right. See you on the way back, probably. So what's your YouTube handle? Are you are you on Flickr or anything? Yeah, like it's that? just my name, Dave Carrera. So. Dave Carrera. Oh, we've got. Oh. So okay. No problem. Yeah, just Dave Carrera. That's, that's what it is. My Carrera. Carrera. That's Carrera. in the Porsche. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, I'll look for it. I'm uh, I'm Steve Reed. I'm on. Steve. Uh, I'm on. As well, cool. I'm not really, not very anything very exciting. Uh, my, mine's <laughs> mine's photography, and my version of it. Yeah. Again, probably not very exciting. <laughs> my, most of my pictures are on Flickr, actually. Yeah, so. I've got two Instagrams uh, okay. just for mucking around and uh, two websites and all that nonsense. So. Okay. Awesome. But well, anyway. I'll look for your stuff. Please do. Let, if you let me know, uh, just just do the, the let me know you're there, yeah. and I'll link up with you as well and all that okay. sort of stuff. Awesome. And you'll probably see me buzzing around on this thing <laughs> if I haven't killed well, myself. We're actually not out here that often. Oh, right, cool. Oh, right, okay, yeah, 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 that's um, nice. But we're, uh, we're just kind of visiting. Kind of a different yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's, that's the whole point of this, is to get out and about rather than how far my, my legs can take me. So, yeah. Which normally ends up as as far as the first pub. Yeah. TT! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so on 64, so in a minute, I'm going to be at my proposed maximum. And I'm thinking maybe, I don't know because I haven't done this before, but maybe the stop starting isn't helping. Point. Let's find out where I am. This battery situation coming well. So, it's going to turn off and be back in a moment. <coughs> right, so apparently I'm uh, Two and a half miles away. <coughs> Another one. Two and a half miles away. I'm 
made it up that one, just. <laughs> um, so two and a half miles from 58 battery. So, I'm risking it, but let's see, eh? Kensal Green, that's as far as we got. Right, so, we're at 55%. We got as far as Kensal Rise. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just Blimey, what's going on here? Being jabs? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> right, so, I was right. Uh, didn't need a battery for the GoPro. I'm on 50%, so I should be able to get back to the pub, which is very important. <laughs> Black horse, Greenford, here I come. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Have you? Where's the shard? The shard? Can you see the shard? That's miles away. That's. Oh, oh, it's oh, you can see it. Yeah, just about. But it's like like mega miles away. <laughs> it's on camera. <laughs> God bless. Have a great day. Take care. down, laid the cap off for a minute, so it'll get a bit quicker. Sorry? Can you stop those idiots who travel down here about 40 miles an hour? Um, I'd they like to. Somebody, they'd bloody kill them, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I can't. 15 miles an hour, that's all I can do. That guy going down there then was absolutely money. Well, you would, you would literally kill somebody. One day, he'll clip someone, or clip something, and get very wet. It's such a shame, isn't it? Yeah. Well, have a great day. Thank you, man. And look after yourself. Take care. Let's see. Pay up on twenty five. Don't know about that one. But we'll see. You always have a bit of moving. <laughs> Thank you. I've only got 24% of the battery left, which is when EV vehicle battery stress comes in. Thank you. It's 21 at the moment. Oop. So, uh, another little personal thing you might not know about me is I have COPD at 60%, or so fluctuating at some point. Uh, uh, 60%. And I've got a dicky leg if I walk too far, sometimes, not always, sometimes. Little uh, party going on. It was nice to see. Ooh, uh, 
<laughs> looks, looks like fun. <laughs> a little, little party there for something. I just saw on the way out, but it looks like it's uh, getting in full strength. And here is the pub. The pub. Hurrah for the pub. So, there we go. <sighs> I am going to head home. The battery is getting low. Yeah, it's a bit of battery anxiety coming in there. <laughs> it's a little worried. So, let's, uh, let's uh, head back. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, it's easier about this way or the other way, isn't it? It's easier. I did it. <laughs> oh dear. Not some on it, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the pictures, especially the frame church one, which I've taken lots of pictures of the Norfolk, uh, St Mary's Church in Norfolk. Um, but that one came out really well, I thought, especially as I was experimenting with um, one under uh, what the uh, little Ravini light meter was saying. This little thing here, which in here it says F8 at one second. <laughs> um, so that was giving me underexposure, which just seeing if I can just keep the, the shadows and bring the highlights down, which wasn't too bad, too hard on that day because it was a bit cloudy. But anyway, I started uh, because of the wonderful John Finch. If you go to his website, I'll leave a link below. This is his book, by the way. Um, I don't get paid anything. John wouldn't do that. <laughs> um, but I've been watching his videos. He's done a series recently on uh, Crawley's FX55 developer. Uh, how to find your film speed um, and various other things. Put my ears up because it's uh, a relatively safe developer, a vitamin C developer. And in his book, Hard. Oh, it's the, uh, there we go. Uh, Crawley's a Sorbic developer and um, in general if I'm right in saying but people will correct me I know you will um, that it finds the uh, the true speed of the film which normally 
normally, but always, can be a third or two thirds of a stop higher than the ISO. So um, in my case, what was I using? Uh, HP5. So that go up to, what's that, 640, somewhere around there. Uh, but even some cases, it can double the ISO. Um, if you watch John's video on his test um, with FP4, you know, we can all see that, you know, under certain circumstances, you can push that from 125 to 250, which would be great because then you can open up the speeds and all that sort of stuff. Here's the uh, ingredients from them big pots in the background here. It's my sodium score bait. It's an NC. Um, and how to use it. Now, this, that's the book. On various websites that give you times, there's not a lot about FX55 because not a lot of people have used it. Uh, why? I don't know. It's, it's a great developer, as you've seen in the pictures. Uh, so, what I did was, uh, for developing the, the two rolls of film that I took, um, HP5, uh, shot at 400, one stop under, so that would be um, from F8 to F11, generally, uh, but depends on what I was shooting, which would be in the video. Anyway, um, the only time I could find was 13 minutes at 400, um, which I thought was a bit too long, but I thought, okay, now go with the first roll. So the out roll, the one I went out with, was done at 13 minutes. The one back, I thought, hmm, I'll have a go. And I was going to power up the um, the Jobo uh, and do the developing on there, but I decided not to. But I'd done the, the timings to 15% off, so give me about 11 and a half minutes or so. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to underdevelop and see what happened. And, lo and behold, the, uh, the the penultimate picture, the church one, proved that even with just the slightest of edits, and I mean the most gentle of edits in uh, Photoshop, um, just to balance things out a little bit, but nothing major. Um, excellent. Excellent in the negatives and excellent in the, the digital. I'm going to print them, but I don't have a 6x9 enlarger. I've only got up to 6x6, my Durst 601, and I'm going to be selling that and getting a, an enlarger that will um, do 6x9 and all the other sizes. And at the moment, the one that I'm thinking of getting is the Intrepid uh, enlarger from guys down in Brighton, um, but we'll see. Uh, it looks good, people have said it's good. And that can do up to 6x9, which is fantastic, so that covers all my bases. Um, but we'll, that's for another video and we'll go through that. So there we go. So uh, thank you for watching both the videos. If you have, if you haven't, go and watch the first one. This will make much more sense. Thank you, John Finch, for your book and all the work you do with um, black and white photography. And thank you for watching. Uh, see you again soon. And please do the usual things, you know, the likey thing and the subscriber thing, but don't do that thing. <laughs> and see you again very soon. Thank you for watching.